All right, guys, I'm hooked on something. Oh my God, big fish. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In today's episode, I'm heading back to a fishing spot that probably intimidates me more than any other fishing location that I go to. It's a giant spillway that is riddled with snags that has the real possibility of holding some monstrous fish. So I'm excited to get out there and hopefully hook into one of those monsters. In one mile, turn left. I just made it to the spillway and it is freezing, which is kind of good because there's only me and a couple other people here. Hopefully the fish will be biting though. The water is actually a little bit higher than what it was last time I was here. Last time I was able to actually stand on this shelf, but it is currently underwater. So uh, that's probably gonna make things a little bit more difficult, but I'm gonna rig up a few of my rods and start fishing. I'm gonna start by rigging up a night crawler and tossing it out there on one of my light rods. Here we go, guys. First cast. Oh, something has hit it. All right, guys, I had a hit on my very first cast. Uh-oh, I'm snagged. Rig number one, gone. Time to load up the big gun with some night crawlers. Oh, there's a fish, guys. Fish on. This feels like a nice one. Please stay on. All right, there we go. It's a catfish. First fish of the day. Nice little channel catfish. See you later, buddy. Fishing has been incredibly slow today. I've been out here for over an hour and I've had a total of three bites. However, that third bite ended up being my first fish of the day, that nice little channel catfish. So I will take that. I'm feeling really good that I finally got that skunk off the board. But these are just some overall brutal, brutal conditions. It's freezing out and every single cast ends up with me losing that rig. I'm gonna get back to it and hopefully catch a few more fish. In case you guys are interested, here is the rig that I'm using to catch the fish. I have this, I believe it's a quarter ounce egg weight on my main line, and I'm using a small little split shot to stop the weight from going down to my hook. So I have about 18 inches from that split shot to this one knot eagle claw worm hook, and I'm loading this thing up with night crawlers, casting it out there, and these fish really like to set up. There's a ton of current out there today. So as far as casting location goes, I'm aiming for this slack water where these predatory fish would be waiting to ambush any bait fish getting swept by this current. Oh my gosh, you guys. What in the world is this? No, it's off. Oh my gosh, that was a monster fish. I thought I was snagged. No way. That was a monster. Dang it. What is this? Are you serious? You guys, this little bass just went for my lure and I actually caught it. No way. That is so crazy. See you later, buddy. I'm tossing around this little fluke on my ultralight. First cast out, I hooked into a monster. Second cast, I caught that little bass. This may be the technique.
All right, guys, I'm hooked on something. Oh my God, big fish. No way. You guys, I am hooked into a monster. On my ultralight, of course. All right, please stay on. What in the world could this be? Holy smokes. What is this? No way. Are you serious? <laughs> you guys, I just foul hooked a carp. Gosh darn it. This is not what I wanted to catch. Good lord. Well, that is uh, not what I'm after. I was hoping that was gonna be a big old flathead or a striped bass, but in the end, it was a slimy carp. There we go. Holy cow, you guys. I think I just snagged a giant shad. Holy smokes. I'm gonna use this guy for bait. All right guys, I've got a piece of that shad on my catfishing rod. I'm gonna toss it out in the slack water and see if there's any monsters. I have not had a single bite on either of my catfishing rods. So I'm gonna go ahead, reel them in, and try one more spot before it gets too dark. Holy cow, you guys, I am freezing. I only have about half an hour of daylight left, so I'm gonna make a run for one final location to hopefully catch some more fish. All right, here we are, guys. I am about a mile downstream from the actual spillway and there is a, a nice little slack water spot right here next to current. So I'm going to fish here for a little bit and hopefully hook into something. All right, I'm going to toss around this little swim bait. Hopefully, hopefully something goes for it. You guys, what is this? Oh my gosh, you guys, I have something. <laughs> and it's off. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a log. No way. I just had a monster fish on the end of my line. Dang. Aside from the fact that it was an extremely cold and slow day of fishing, I still had a pretty fun time. I really did not expect to catch much today, so I'm happy I was able to catch that nice channel catfish. And after coming to the second spot, I hooked into something that was massive. I actually thought it was a snag at first, but unfortunately it ended up getting away. I did, however, snag a couple really cool crappie jigs off the bottom, so that was awesome. I'll be using those in the future, but overall, I'd say today was still a pretty fun time. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have something.